In this lesson, we're looking at congruent chords and arcs. Basically, a chord has two endpoints on a circle. So these are chords here, A, B, and C, D. And an arc is just a portion of that circle. So here we have arc A, B, and C, D. So now let's look at some uh, properties or conditions of chords and arcs. Um, it says if uh, two chords are congruent, if corresponding arcs are congruent. So basically, um, I have chord A, B. So the corresponding arc is also AB. So if this arc here is congruent to this arc, then their chords would be congruent. The chords would be congruent as well. So example, if this arc were 86 and this arc were 86, that would make AB congruent to CD, all right? Another condition is if it is equidistant from the center. So um, if EF, let's, so let's say EF was eight and EG was eight, that would tell us that these chords are also um, congruent as well because they're the same distance from the center of the circle. One more condition here, if the diameter or the radius is perpendicular to the chord, remember that upside down T is for perpendicular, then it bisects the chord and its arc. So um, we have these two radii here, or these radii that are perpendicular so it bisects the core and the arc. So that would mean that I'm just going to make up an example. Um, if CG were 6, then GD would also be 6. Um, if CI were um, 7, then ID would also be 7. And the same thing goes for um, the chord and the arc up here. All right. So these are our conditions that we're going to use to solve these math problems here. All right. The first one we have here, our first example, it says to find x, y. So we're given two chords. We have the chord v, w, and x, y. We can see that they have corresponding arcs that are congruent because we have these congruence marks. So that would mean that the chords are congruent as well. We have an expression here for each chord. So since they're congruent, we can just set up an equation by setting them equal to each other. 4x plus 1 plus 9x minus 34. And again, the chords are congruent because their arcs are congruent. So we can set this expression, these expressions equal. Just solving for x, um, subtracting 4x, 1 equals 5x minus 34. So again, just, um, well not again, just algebra equation. All right, that's 35. So x is 7. So just solving for x. So since x is 7, I'm just going to plug in um, the 4x plus 1. So 4 times 7 plus 1, 28 plus 1 equals 29. So we could say that uh, xy is equal to 29. So we have used uh, the condition to solve this problem here for congruent chord. All right, so we have another problem here and we want to find x. So let's use the conditions here. So we have congruent uh, chords here. So we know that if, that if the corresponding, if we have congruent chords, the corresponding arcs would be congruent as well. So if this arc here is 6x plus or 6x minus 20, this arc would also be 6x minus 20. And now in order to find x, I could find a degree of these arcs together here. Alright, so if this arc here is 76, I could simply subtract 76 minus 360 to get the combined um, arc here. So 360 minus 76, I think is 284. Let me double check, I always double check. And that is 284. And so these arcs together here will equal 264. And so what I could do, I could either uh, divide this by two because I know that the arcs are congruent or I could do 2 times 6x minus 20 is equal to 284 because both of these would be um, 6x minus 20. So I multiply it by 2 
and the total arc here would be 284 because I just subtracted the 76. So that would mean that the rest of the arc is 284. All right. So this is my equation. I'm just going to solve for x. 12x minus 40 is equal to 284 plus 40. 12x is equal to 284 plus 40 through 24. All right. Divided by, by 12 x is 27 so of course if I wanted to double check my work I would plug it in for x here and um, do that <laughs> 6 times 27 minus 20 that would give me 142 which would mean that this would be 142 so if I add all of these together that should give me 360 so let's do that, plus 76. And that does in fact give me 360. So I just double check my work here to make sure that my X is correct. And so we have solved this problem here. All right, so I have another example here. We want to find, well actually I forgot to put find MP. So we want to find this piece right here. So now the information that we're given we have these two congruence marks, so that would mean that these chords are congruent, not chords, arcs. These arcs are congruent, which would make our chords congruent. So if these chords are congruent, that would make um, PN and um, PM uh, congruent because they would be equidistant from the center. So again, congruent chord, congruent arcs, congruent chords, which would make um, these two segments um, equidistant from the center. From the center so from the center to the core it would be the same so to solve for x i could just set these two expressions equal because mp would be congruent to pn meeting that condition with the congruent cores and arcs all right tongue tied there so i'm just setting this equal Subtracting 2x, again, just solving equations. So 3x minus 4 is equal to, um, that should be 34. I'm glad I caught that. 34 is equal to negative 4. So we're going to add 34. Negative 4 plus 34 is 30. Divided by 3x is 10. And of course, we just plug it back in. 5 times 10 minus 34. 50 minus 34 is 60. So MP is 60. Um, and of course, if I want to check it, I could plug it in here. It should give me the same thing. Um, 2 times 10 is uh, 20. And 20 minus 4 is 16. Where did I get 60 from? I put 16 here. 60. No, 16. Okay, it's late. <laughs> so I got 16 here and I got 16 here. And so we checked our answers because these um, segments should be congruent because they're equidistant from the center. So we have solved this problem here. All right, so the last problem that we're going to do, we're actually going to find um, a few segments in a circle and some of the arcs here. So we're given the information that RS is 18 and the measure of arc TY is 42. So I like to label everything first. So it says RS is 18. So that will make this entire piece here 18. Um, so each side will be 9. And since there are congruent arc, congruent chords, and I know that the chords are congruent because they are equidistant from the center because we have these congruence marks here. So that will make congruent chords. Um, and also, um, it's perpendicular. Uh, the radar is perpendicular to the chords, um, so it bisects the chord and the arcs. So all of these would be 9. And I know that because um, this, these two lines are perpendicular, which means it bisects. So I'm using this rule right here. All right, then it says a measure of arc uh, TY is 42. 
So that will make all of these arcs 42. Because they have congruent chords. All right. So TV, let's find TV. This is TV. Nine. TU. 18. Just adding these two together. WS. Nine. YU. 42. And uh, arc RS. RS. 42 plus 42 gives me 84. Let me put my degree symbols here. So we have found um, the measures and the arcs here. So when you're given information, it helps to just label uh, your figure here. And that way you can see what the measures are a little more clearly. All right, so we've reached the end of our lesson. And I want to thank you for learning with me.